hi this is my video assignment on Chickamauga and occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge the actual short story and the Twilight episode um I'm recording this on my phone because I couldn't figure out how to do it on my laptop okay and so I want to first jump into his style or like who he is as a writer first before I go into anything else and so he does realism and natural naturalism and he also do um disorientation with reason and well the first piece i ever read by him was chickamauga and i typically as a hobby reader because i read outside of school stay away from realism because life is already depressing enough as it is i don't want to relive it through literature for fun reading for fun so i typically stay away from it so, um, on your pre-recorded lecture, you said, oh yeah, it's reality as it is. And that's all I was given. But, um, I read Chickamauga and while I was reading it, I just was like, mm, I can't believe this is happening. Mm. Like I was gasping the whole time. Like I couldn't believe what I was reading. It was pretty interesting, but I don't know. I was just, and then I'm, I'm a horror movie fan. So, like, while reading Chikwanga, I was just waiting for something to happen. Like, waiting for something bad to happen. Because how could not, nothing not bad happen when a child accidentally plays on a battlefield? Like, how could, not, how could nothing not go wrong? So, at the end, I wasn't that surprised that his mom was dead and his house was the um, thing on fire. But I really was surprised that he was um, deaf and mute. Because that just makes the whole situation worse make the whole situation worse um and I also wrote on my notes that re uh, realism authors like I understand the need to portray reality as it is and um not romanticizing anything like the authors Chopin and we did Twain like not romanticizing the war or anything like that like this is how it is so we should have literature like read what's actually happened I understand the importance I just typically stay away from it outside of school and so I want to talk about the short story now um occurrence at Owl Bridge so it's split up into sections section one and section two um section one we're reading it in the beginning it was I had to reread the first paragraph a couple times because I couldn't understand the positioning that everyone it was in. It just, I, like, I understand that he had to feel the need to tell everybody where everyone is. Like, the way that they had it, the execution style set up, it was fail-proof. Like, you're, like, he was going to die and that was it. Like, ain't no escaping. No escaping the situation that you're in. So, um, whenever section three started happening and he magically broke free i already knew he was dead because of chickamauga i was like ain't no way he's not about to let this happen this is a lie um and while reading just things just started i felt like time was affected like there wasn't like he was in the water for a long time and his wrist broke like the ropes broke he couldn't feel the noose around his neck. I just felt like he was in the water for a long time. Like, time had altered. And Peyton, the main character, he wasn't affected by time at all. But I already knew, like, while I was reading, I was like, mm, he has to already be dead. And then they had, um, he had super human abilities. So the strength, obviously, is one. And whenever he got out of the water, how he was able to see the bug on a plant the he can feel the ripples in the water from i think it was a fish it just wasn't adding up because of who um ambrose is as a writer and what he was writing i automatically knew that this was a lie and he purposely did make it disoriented and but it was like blatantly obvious like bluntly obvious um another crazy out of the ordinary thing that did happen it's um one of the shooters like as he got out of the water and was swimming away he was able to see the shooter's eyes and he said that it was he had gray eyes and gray eyes were the kindest and in the gray eyes also make someone a marksman but the man missed the shot it just didn't make sense that it wasn't logical what Peyton was 
experiencing as not a dead man like as an escapee it just didn't make sense like the fantasy of it all so it was obvious that he was there the whole time and yeah I said that the unnatural world became natural in a way it was weird and I also want to point out that um Ambrose's mention of who Payne was as a person and his family is kind of like a justice or kind of like karma um because he was a devout rebel so and he it, they noted that he did own slaves and you know karma will come back and get you and quickly I want to talk about the Twilight episode I watched it with my husband and while it was going on I was just nodding along like yeah it's about what and what it's about as depressing as the short story and my husband because there's a music build up and it was in black and white my husband was like i don't like this this supposed to be scary or something yes it's supposed to be scary <laughs> it's supposed to be scary but i thought it was about what and what like the atmosphere and everything was the same and i watched the version on youtube the shortened version um some things that i pointed out was different was that um Peyton didn't get shot in the episode um in the short story he got shot and pulled the bullet out and that was it and also they didn't have any cannons involved in the YouTube version of it but they had it involved in the short story um and the video also helped me with the visualization of the first part of the first section because I couldn't picture how the plank was working so seeing it in video form actually helped me realize it um that's all I have to say about everything. Mm -hmm. I thought the video was about what it was. Okay, I'm done. Thanks.